Hi guys, it's Sophia aka The Sims World and I am back with another speed build. Yes, that's right. I am doing videos. I this is I think the the biggest hot streak I've been on. Woot woot for me. So, this is um the I'm going to start off with a concept and then like maybe I'll talk about it a little bit, but I kind of want to like get through some stuff cuz I have things to say and updates to give. So this concept was like a Granite Falls house. I mean, you don't have to p keep it in Granite Falls, um, but I would like I would imagine that whoever has this house, it's like a Big Bear style house um, where they go back to it um, sometimes. Or I guess you could put it in Willow Creek and take away the um, landscaping that I gave it. But it's like. A older exterior with a fully refurbished modern interior um, and it's a little bit empty but it still has skills um, it's it is a house I guess it's a house and whoever lives like in in Granite Falls um, lives in this house but anyway that's that was my that was my premise for the house I just saw I some stuff on Pinterest and it got me inspired and then I was like you know what, I really want to do these interiors, so I guess I'll just combine the interior and the exterior, even though it's not really matching. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. Um, but anyway, I wanted to update you guys on some crap that's been going on. I have been, um, I've been really, really busy lately. Um, I went to a, I think it's a neurologist, yeah, a neurologist. And for, I get vertigo and migraines, so I, I have been getting those since I was four years old. You guys really have no idea, like, how debilitating it is. Um, or maybe you do. I, I can't say, like, either way. But it's been really debilitating for me. I can't go to school. I can't go to work sometimes for days. And I just decided with my along with my family since we updated and got a new insurance that we should probably go to a neurologist and um we did and they're UCLA one so there she's really good I really like her and it's um hopefully going to go well today I just actually got my blood drawn so that was an interesting time um I freaking hate getting my blood drawn, okay? Like, it is disgusting. It makes me so disgusted. Like, I can't explain it to you, but, I mean, I've gotten piercings. I have a septum piercing. I have a tattoo. Like, I don't, I don't, like, think, like, getting the blood drawn is the difficult part, or getting the needle stuck in me is the difficult part. It's standing there or sitting there and waiting for the blood to be drawn and then getting it like seeing it come out of you and then feeling it come out of you is so disgusting like I can't explain it to you no one else I know really understands that but it literally it feels like the blood is being like sucked out of me in the most disgusting way um yeah, that's not a good explanation, but you know, that's what I have. Um <laughs> so I got my I got my blood drawn um to check for my vitals and I am also going to get um two MRIs next week, which is going to take seventy five minutes for one of them and then forty five minutes for another one. So I have to do it on two days because um, apparently the noise is like really loud and it's really uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, I, I tend to do really well with these kind of medical things. Like I tend to worry about them um, up until the time and then when the time comes I'm like, oh that was it? Oh, okay. But yeah, anyway, that's, that's that. I mean, other than that, going through all that, I have been working a lot so really really like I I wanted to be working more but I don't know the place where I work 
I really love the people, which is the first, and, and, and the job, like, I really love it, I think it's really easy, and the people are really friendly, it's just the manager and the schedule that really make, like, great me so much, the manager is so rude to me, and I don't understand why, I'm a really good employee, um, and I try really hard, and she just kind of doesn't, she doesn't treat employees with respect, and it's not okay, and it's not fair to the employees, let me just, like, say and tell you guys that don't even know where I work, I work in retail, but, I mean, it's ridiculous, I, t I emailed her about, um, my scheduling change for college because I'm going back to college next month and um, I needed to get a different time of the day for my schedule but I needed the same day and I was really worried about it it was taking up a lot of my time and my like my my concern in memory space and I was expecting her to email me back but she never did for like five days and so I, I finally one day I had to, um, for the doctor's appointment, um, for the neuro neurologist appointment, I had to get my shift covered because I didn't realize that, um, my mom had, um, put the day as a day I was working. So the day before I was begging people, like almost crying because I could, this, I could not miss this appointment because this nurse neurologist is, so highly in demand that I had to wait a month and a half for this appointment and I don't I didn't know if I could get any more so I I had to wait and um I asked everyone and I I let my manager know I was like I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anyone to cover my shift and she was like well you're going to have to otherwise your shift isn't going to get you're you're not going to get like I don't know, it was something really snippy. The way she responds to me over text is really snippy because the way she talks in real life is really snippy. And I I was kind of shocked because in my interview with her, she had said that it was a really welcoming place and they were really helpful with um, getting shifts covered and trading off shifts and yet no one was answering my request and she was being rude to me about getting my sh my shift and i understand that you know it, it's a day's notice fine but it wasn't my fault and i i let her know that and i've never she's never had any reason to not believe me so i just thought it was a little bit hypocritical of her and a little bit rude and I don't know, it's just something to keep in consideration in conjunction with everything else that's happening at that, at that job. Um, it's, luckily, the shift got covered, but I was really, I was pretty frustrated about that. Oh, the reason I even brought that up was the next day I texted her and I said, I wanted to make sure you got my email about the shift covered. And it was really polite and, like, professional. And she was like, yeah. I got it, and you're fine, and obviously it's going to be on the girl's side, because there's a girl's and a guy's side to my store, and so I was like, the girl's or the guy's side is fine, I just need to have that time, and she was like, obviously it's going to be on the girl's side, and I was like, why would you, why would you respond to me that way, why wouldn't you just try to like be kind to me as I'm trying to be kind with you and give you all the time that you need to respond to me? I don't know, it's, I don't know, it was just really hypocritical to me. Did you guys ever f have to deal with that with your managers or, you know, wherever you work? Or if you don't work, if you're not, <laughs> if you're a child, sorry, you can't relate. Um, anyway, that's, that was that. Um, some fun stuff I've been doing, though, is I rewatched entirely Avatar The Last Airbender because... I thought I had watched through it already. Turns out um, I hadn't. Um, I had only watched some episodes that were airing on Nickelodeon at the time when it was still airing. 
And so I, I realized, oh, wow, Zuko really does not get his redemption until, like, way, way, way later on. And I was pretty frustrated with that. I mean, he was redeemed in my eyes, like, the second I saw him. I was like, there's no way he's a bad person. Like, he's just trying, like, you know, like, you can see it. They set him up for redemption the first time you see him. And so I was like, oh my god, my little heart, it can barely take it. Um, and I've just, yeah, I've just been thinking about that, like, for days and days and days, uh, to be honest. And I kind of want to rewatch it again, because it was really good, and I, I liked it a lot. Also, something that I didn't realize the first time I watched um, Avatar was that Sokka is really freaking smart, and he's just super funny and like charismatic and I didn't realize that at first because you just due to his personality think he's super dumb but he is so not and he's a really good warrior and he's a good part of the team which makes me respect him more not that he needs my respect but I was thinking about doing an Avatar um, The Last Airbender The Gang kind of a, a a speed cast, maybe. I still have to finish Hazel and Frank for somebody who requested it on a video. Trust me, I'm getting to that. And I'm also working on a That 70s Show speed cast because I also like those shows. But I, yeah, I've been really obsessed with Avatar The Last Airbender and um, Zuko is my favorite, just so everyone's aware. Um, and he really reminds me of me, to be honest, especially me, high, high school me, but, um, I, it, and I also feel that if I were to be any bender, I would be a firebender just because the rage and all that, like, I can feel it, I can relate to it. Um, I'm not a waterbender for sure, definitely not an airbender, and I'm definitely not, um, an earthbender. I, I'm, I'm more of a firebender, which I think is a combination of, like, the, the, I don't know, the, it seems like airbending to me and waterbending combined, but in a more, um, heated up environment, <laughs> which is funny because it's literally heat, um, but yeah, I think I think it's a combination of the two of those disciplines, like both of the the different kinds of um disciplines and like skill sets, I guess, like ideologies. That's the word I'm looking for, ideologies. Um so yeah, I feel like sorry, I just burped. I don't know if you heard that. I'm freaking rude and I'm burping in your ears. Um <laughs> stupid. Um, yeah, I think I would definitely be a firebender, and I, this is what I do, I always, cl like, classify myself as something, um, and I classify my friends as things, too, because it's fun for me, I really like to do that, like, I'm a Gryffindor, and I know all my friends' houses in my head, um, and I know, you know, like, my, I'm a, I would be a daughter of Hades, like, and I know my friend's godly parent would be this, and this is why, and stuff like that. I really, really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. It's fun for me. And I know it's, like, a little bit childish, but, like, you know, like, get over it. It's fine. I'm a child, but I'm also an adult, literally. Oh, I think the last time I saw you, I was still, I mean, I saw you. You haven't seen me. Um... The last time I posted a video, I was still 18. I've had a birthday since then, and I'm 19 now, guys. <laughs> Officially an adult, lols. Um, yeah, I mean, it feels the same, but, you know, can't wait for 20. That's, you know, the beginning of a new decade, the end of an old decade. Scary stuff, but exciting stuff. Anyway, I, I really am excited... For the content that I want to release on this channel, I just need to continue, you know, figuring stuff out and working on it. And the season's LP is not, um, I, it's going to continue. I'm going to do it. Don't worry about that. I just need to figure out a storyline 
so that I can, you know, feel more confident and more, you know, like I know that it's going somewhere because I think my Sims 3 LPs really lacked that. And I want to have like a purpose when I'm doing that kind of stuff. I don't want to just be like, you know, not sure of like the stuff I'm going to be doing. You know, I want to explore the seasons pack. I still haven't really explored it that much. Like, I don't know why I just haven't. Um, and I play Sims almost every day. That's a lie. I don't play Sims almost every day. I play Sims a lot though. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to continue with that LP because I really like the family and I really like the house that I built. <laughs> so I want to continue doing it. Um, and I, yeah, I, oh, we're almost at the end of the video. Dang it. Um, what else should I say? I, I don't know. Oh, I've been watching, I finished watching actually. I've been, I've been watching a lot of stuff, to be honest. But um, two other shows that I started, um, one I finished, I'll start with the one I finished, The Marvelous Miss Maisel, really good guys, you should watch it. And then the other one is Voltron, and it's because of, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, and people said, you know, that's a good show to watch, just, you know, because of Avatar, like it's similar stuff. Anyway, these are the screenshots. I really like this house, I think it's great for two people and then you could maybe like even expand it at some point. Anyway, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one guys.